everyone, it's Roger and James here from the This Kingdom Podcast. In this episode, James is going to be telling us all about the brand new virtual reality experience, Star Wars Secrets of the Empire, which is at locations at um, Downtown Disney in Disneyland, also over at Disney Springs in Walt Disney World. I think it's also at a, a pop-up thing in Las Vegas, and even here in the UK, it was on in London, but I'm going to be talking about that in a bit later. So James, what did you think of this VR experience? Uh, it was awesome. Actually, uh, it was one of the coolest VR things I've ever done. Yeah. Um, but calling it a VR experience doesn't really describe it well, as I discovered. Um, yeah. So when I think VR, you know, you think the headset mm. and maybe you flailing around in an empty room. You got like yeah. the Wiimotes or the, you know, the Play Move controllers, whatever. This was not that. This is not that at all. You do have the VR headset and it's not yeah. AR. It is VR. Yeah. Um, but you also have a harness on. Mm. So you're walking around free. You're not corded to anything. You're yeah. not, you know, stuck to a specific play area. And what you discover very early on is anything that's in the game, you can actually feel. All right. So so it's actually got its own building. Mm. And so you'll you'll start in um, a room and you've got to get out of the room. And I'm not gonna go into yeah. spoilers. So for anybody who, who wants to experience themselves, don't worry, no no major spoilers here. And when you get into the room, you can put your hand on the wall. You can yeah. feel the door. There's actually uh, a lever uh, that you have to pull down. Mm. And when you grab it, it's not like Skyrim VR where you, yeah. you have to click the button and then yeah. it mimes grabbing. No, you actually grab the lever, pull it down, and then the door physically opens beside you. Yeah. And you can feel the air come in and all this yeah. cool stuff. And, you know, when you get the gun... Uh, you actually are holding a gun yeah. with a trigger in your hand. Now, you yeah. can't see any of this because nah. it's all VR and it's just overlaid. But, man, it's freaking awesome. <laughs> uh, you know, it. if you're picturing VR like PlayStation VR, yeah. Oculus Rift, or even, you know, some of the more advanced stuff like you, you might have seen people <laughs> doing like treadmills and stuff, yeah. it's nothing like that. Um, even there's one point, it's on the planet Mustafar, uh, which we've mm. seen in... Uh, Revenge of the Sith, and then also briefly in Rogue One. So it's a lava planet. And yeah. at one point, you're getting close to the lava, and they yeah. heat up the room. Yeah. It, it, you're actually like, it's kind of getting hot in here, guys. So Yeah, yeah it's sort of setting off all the different senses. Yes. Uh, apparently, it does also have smell, but yeah. I have a very, very poor sense of smell, so I didn't notice that, but they did advertise that as well. So keep that in mind. Mm. Um it's, you do go in as a squad of four. Yeah. Uh, I went with a friend, and then we got paired up with another two people. Um, and you hear each other in the, the mm. headsets. And you can see each other. There's uh, Some of the motion tracking isn't the best. Like, there was one point where I was holding the gun yeah. like this. And my friend looked over at me as like, the gun is floating in front of you. And your hands are, like, doing this spasmatic yeah. thing. I'm like, um, yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't doing that at all. Nah. But, you know... You, Everything else about it, like when you're shooting stormtroopers, you're like, "This is, this is awesome!" Like you're you're taking cover behind stuff, and you can actually feel the cover. And the the vest you're wearing, if you get hit by yeah. a blaster bolt, it it does like this little vibration thing. It's actually, it's not painful, but it's definitely annoying. Yeah. Um. So do you think it's it was about thirty dollars? Is it? Um. That was my next point. So this is the negative side of things. It is. Only about a 15-minute experience uh, after, you know, you go through the, the whole loadout, get your gear on, all that stuff. It's about 15 minutes, uh, give or take, depending on how long it takes you to get through the puzzles. Yeah. And I, I use air quotes there because the puzzle was literally, you're in the room. You've got the mission yeah. operator. You're in a room. Maybe you can find a way out. I'm, like, looking around, and there's one lever on the wall. I'm like... <laughs> Hey guys, maybe, is it that lever? Can it chunk? Oh, hey, look, we got out the room. That was, and that's like that's about as hard as the puzzles get. Yeah. So it, it it doesn't take too long to get through. Although one of the people it was like, you have to do a button pressing yeah. sequence, and it's like, dude, let the sequence end and then start pushing the buttons. He's like, no, do do, uh, <laughs> and the mission operator is just yelling and like, how are you not getting this? But. Yeah. Other than that, you know, it's 15 minutes. It is $30, um, so it is expensive. It's worth doing at least once. Yeah. The the experience doesn't really change from what I gather. You know, it's not randomized stuff. Yeah. It's not um, like Star Tours where you're going to get a different one each time. It's the same mission, so you probably don't need to do it more than once, at least not at that price. But, yeah, do it once. Even for mm. 15 minutes, it's a lot of fun. You're really in 
yeah. that mission. There's cool sequences in it. Um, it's really immersive. And also, I will point out, um, aside from right at the beginning, when I first put the gear on, there was a, a gangway that you walked down. Yeah. And I, I start walking down the gangway, and then my body's like, no, what's going on? And I kind of do, like, the drunk drift yeah. to the... After that, I was fine. Uh, yeah. No motion sickness, no disorientation, no vertigo. Um, I did get that at the Marvel VR experience yeah. that we talked about after D23. So, you know, if you do get VR sickness, you're probably actually pretty safe with this. Don't worry about it too much. Um, and then the, the other... One small complaint, and this is purely, mm. you know, nitpicky kind of stuff, is they do give you a picture at the end that you can optionally yeah. buy for $15. It's literally just a picture of you in the harness. Yeah. You don't even have the gun or anything. It's like, yeah. <laughs> hey, lift up the VR, smile for the camera. Uh, that, would you like to buy the picture? I'm like, no. No, no give, give me back the gun so I look cool. Yeah. And then maybe, like, uh, do, like, a, an AR with yeah. the Stormtrooper that I was playing. or, or that, that yeah. Maybe. Yeah, sure, if, if I've got something that's clearly Shadow of the Empire or a Secret of the Empire. But, yeah, um, bottom line is it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And it's a lot of fun, especially if you can get a squad of four people together. Uh, kids, adults, doesn't matter. I, you have to be 10 years old. That's the only requirement. So. I suppose it's that thing, isn't it? It's like if you've got four of you, that's suddenly 120, 150 bucks. Yeah, so but suddenly... each person... Each person should pay for themselves in that case too. Yeah, unless well, it's like a uh, unless it's dad. <laughs> it's like, yeah, hey, good thing. Um, but yeah. but also at the same time, you know, it's at yeah. Disney. You're yeah. you're already spending a lot of yeah, money. Yeah, so. I mean, I, I mean, I'm planning on doing it. It's, it's it's on my list of things to do. It's really annoying because I was at the when I went out to the London Toy Fair two weeks ago. I walked up to the Westfield one, and it's only there for twelve weeks, and. They were like, no, sorry, it's not. Work. It's closed today. We'll be, we're opening in tomorrow, and I was just like, thank, thankfully, in that respect, I was like, oh, I just went in on a whim, and I was, I'm going to go to when I go to Disney Springs later this year. Whereas if I'd gone up, and that was the only time I was going to get to do it, I would have been so disappointed. So I'm kind of that catch twenty two, but it is something I want to do, something I want to experience. I like it's it kind of that feeling a bit more like one of those like escape room kind of. It there uh, is yeah, definitely is. There is an escape room feel to it, um, especially at certain parts. But again, we're not talking about like you need genius level IQ to figure this stuff out. It's follow the button presses, uh, have two people shooting the stormtroopers while the other person yeah. or the other two people are working on the button presses. Honestly, I was kind of enjoying it because um, they kept screwing up the button press. I'm like, you guys keep doing that. I'm just going to shoot stormtroopers. Yeah. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Um, yeah. It, it, you know, because it, it's literally point and shoot. That, that is the one thing. There's no recoil on the gun. Yeah. So there is that one bit, but eh, who cares? It, it's not a very heavy gun, so... Yeah, they need to put, like, a PlayStation controller, like, where it just moves a little bit, but... The, I have been to a laser tag where they used um, carbon dioxide pods to simulate recoil on... Yeah. On weapons, which was actually really cool. They could try to do that here, but honestly, I'd rather they perfect the the whole yeah. virtual reality, alter, augmented reality does, thing yeah. first, and then worry about recoil. I do remember when I was when I was a wee lad at, at high school. They did for a, about a year. We had this like laser tag thing in town, and we went to it quite a few times. It didn't last very long. Now it's a church, um, but it's it's that kind of thing of yeah, uh, kind of that's I'm getting that like vibe of uh, like. That's kind of going to be like an, a more up to date version of, of that. So it definitely sounds yeah. like it was a good experience, and you definitely recommend it. I would definitely say that it is a laser tag experience with a VR overlay against bots. You're not playing yeah. against other humans, you are playing against bots. But man, I, I, I'm perfectly fine slaughtering stormtroopers for 15 minutes. Uh, Plus a couple other things, which I won't mention. Yeah. I'll let people experience it for themselves. There, there is more than just shooting stormtroopers. Well, that's good. So. It's good. It's good to know because that. Um, I mean, it's that kind of thing again. It is extra money when you're at Disney, and sometimes it's that thing of 
sometimes there's a lot of Star Wars stuff to do, and sometimes, you know, they do like to charge for it, so it's good to know that this one is worth it. If you have done it as well, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. You can get in touch with us on all the different social medias. You can go check us out over at thiskingdom.com, and you can hit that like and subscribe button on whichever platform you are watching or listening this on. James, where can they find you? Find me, heroiclegacy.com. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for joining us. We'll be back soon. Laters. May the Force be with you. Always.